What's going on, do-it-yourselfers? Thanks for watching DIY by Eric Barnes. Today, we're gonna be breeding some African cichlids. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I guess really step one is gonna be getting a proper male and a proper female with genetics that you like and can be appreciated in the hobby because that's very important. You don't want ugly fish. Um, so finding the right male, the right female, uh, making sure they're at an age where they're old enough to reproduce uh, and that they have their own space. They will get aggressive with other African cichlids if you have a male and a female that are trying to reproduce in a tank. So you may need to get them their own space or do what I did, which is just have nothing but females with one large male. Um, that definitely works. <laughs> um, but then step number two, once you see them do that spinning action that they'll do, they'll spin around each other. Uh, the male will dump the sperm, the female will scoop up the eggs. About two weeks later, a week and a half to two weeks later, you'll see the mom's mouth really start to bulge out. You know it's time for her to let the baby swim away naturally. They just release them, but being in a fish tank, they typically will reluct, be a bit more reluctant to do that because there's so many other fish and, uh, that will uh, consider them prey nearby. So we, it, that's where our job is to scoop them out, uh, take care of the fry, put them in a baby box like we showed earlier, grow them up from there to an age where they can be with other African cichlids in a grow out system from there. I have some friends that want some African cichlids, so I took my male uh, and then I put him with nothing but all of the females. And uh, you can you can see a couple of, in here, of them in here that's holding. There's this one big one back there that we're gonna go ahead and pull out. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how we get the babies out of the, uh, the, the, the mom and how I actually breed these African cichlids. After here, they're gonna go into their fry grow out. And then what I do is I, I toss them all into this aquaponic system. Uh, I should have about 150 to 200 fry. And this is where they'll grow out to about two inches or to when they're about uh, sexable. Uh, as soon as I can determine if they're male or female, uh, the females will go into the female tank and then the males go over here into the male tank. Well, some of them are uh, I actually picked up from a friend some of those larger ones and then the, all, everything in there that's between an inch and two inches or so are all from that male that's in the uh, bow front that we just came from. Yeah. A lot of them will end up looking exactly like that male um, when they get about another two inches on them or so. And will they stay the same color here? Or will they no, they like... will get a lot more colorful. Really? Yeah, they'll all end up looking like that male. And actually we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and catch their mom right now because she's holding the next generation of babies and uh we're gonna go ahead and get the next generation going so that these guys can go to their forever home their dad's coming to get them here in a couple days so that's why i have the tank uh stocked up right now and ready for them because catching them out of that ibc tub over there is not as easy as it sounds it's not like a fish tank it's an all-day excursion to get these fish because they're fast they're really fast all right, yeah, you want to catch this mom real quick? Yeah. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. hiding because she... I think Locked she, oh, and loaded. She yeah. See her mouth? See how she's kind of got like a pouch underneath her chin? Yeah. That's all the babies are in her mouth right now. But it, sometimes she opens her mouth up enough that you can see the babies in there. But really the, the tell-all is that she'll be like tumbling the babies in her mouth by doing that kind of movement with her mouth and... Um, Kind of like massaging that bottom part of her throat and it just keeps the babies moving around in there and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically hold her mouth open and massage the bottom of her throat to make the babies come out okay wow all right let's get her in here all right so now i'm gonna hold her mouth open a little bit there they come! Wow. She really was holding all of them. So now we're just gonna massage. Give her a second, let her get the air, or the water back in.
Oop, there they go. So long, how long have they been in there? I'd say about a, two weeks. The male will, um, so the female will lay down her eggs. The, the male will do this like spinning motion where he'll spin around the female a bunch of times and they'll do this like circular movement deal. And what they're doing is the, the female's laying her eggs, the male fertilizes them, and then the female picks them back, back up in her mouth. So they start out as just eggs in her mouth. And then they eventually hatch and... How does she not let them out? Like well, when she needs to eat and stuff. Do she doesn't eat. She doesn't eat. Nope. For like two weeks. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Wow, that's pretty good spawn there. So we're going to take her home. Mama go home. Good job. I'm not too happy. <laughs> Mama eating. Mama's eating. She's like, finally. I mean, she just went through something very traumatic and she's already eating. Like that just kind of goes to show you like the sturdiness to African cichlids. Like they're so strong. We're gonna go ahead and put some Fresh plants on top. There's probably at least 30 Dude, in there. they're gigantic. Yeah. I can't believe those were all in the mom's mouth. Yeah. But in a couple days, they're gonna look like this over here. So this is one of those little food grinder processor things. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of food. I'm gonna grind it all up real nice for the babies because they, they won't fit in their mouth. And I'll probably have to do this for a couple weeks. And I'll come over here. Get some in that tank. Get some in that tank, or that box. I call them baby boxes. Or then after this, they'll go over the IBC tub to grow out from there. Um, what do you feed them? Uh, that is just a pellet. Uh, Tetracolor, color, but I also mix in some uh, New Life Spectrum. That stuff's kind of expensive, but it really brings out that color. Um, I'll mix in a little bit of uh, Hikari, um, crush some of that up sometimes. Uh, and then as soon as I can, I will I will try to get them onto some beef heart, brine shrimp. Uh, so they'll get usually some pellets and some a large variety diet is what I try to focus on. All right, and then in a couple months, you'll have this. This is what ultimately we're looking for. That is that is on the money right there. What I'm looking for. She is gorgeous. She's a perfect combination of the mom and the dad. Hey guys, thanks for watching DIY by Eric Barnes. If you like this video today, please like the video and give me a subscribe to support the channel. Uh, if you want to see more on what to do uh, to take care of your fish and how to grow an aquaponic system such as this or my IBC container over there, head on over to my, my channel. I actually do a video breakdown of how I build all of these things so that you can do them at your house yourself too. Thanks, thanks for watching do-it-yourselfers. Have a great day. Oh,